look at this question uh, on complex numbers. Uh, it reads like this. Sketch the locus of Z, where Z is a complex number, where modulus of Z plus 1 plus R is less than or equal to 2. Now, locus is, uh, locus means it's a set uh, to define this in a simple language. It's a set of points or a group of points with a common character, with a common character. Or property okay so what are they asking us to do to sketch common character or property so it can be a line it can be a circle it can be an ellipse it can be common property so yeah uh, a line, suppose if you draw a line, a line has a common property. What's the common property of all the points of the line? If you take all the points, there are infinite points on the on a line. So all the points on the line have a common property. That is, they are collinear. If you take a circle, okay, if you draw a circle, what is the common property of all the points? There are infinite points on the circle. If you take all the points, all the points have a common property with this point, which is the center. And you should be knowing all the points are at the same distance from the center. In the same way, ellipse, if you take ellipse, it's, it has also a common property. So I'm not going into that. So here we want to find a set of points, a locus. Uh, where of z of the complex number z it satisfies this equation or this condition so when you say modulus of z by definition you should know is square root of x squared plus y squared so let me explain that suppose if you take a, a complex number a is up or not a is r, r points in a plane okay suppose if you take real numbers real numbers are points on a line so this is the real line or the real axis or the real arm and this is say the imaginary axis any point or any complex number z suppose z is a complex number is yeah it has a uh, how it, suppose uh, a complex number can be explained or can be understood as a vector so if you consider a vector, a complex number as a vector, a vector has a magnitude and a direction. Okay, So the magnitude of this uh, complex number z is modulus of z. And that can be uh, found by taking the horizontal component. The horizontal, This is the horizontal component, the horizontal part, and this is the vertical part. Okay. So here yeah, the horizontal part is x and your vertical component is y. So this is say yi. You can name this as yi. This is the horizontal vertical component. And you, if you're using Pythagoras, you this is how I get x squared plus y squared. You should not be doing i squared there. Uh, so modulus of z is square root of x squared plus y squared. So we're going to use the same principle here. So z generally is x plus yi. So we can say let z is equal to x plus yi. Therefore, uh, we can say modulus of x plus yi plus 1 plus i is less than or equal to 2. So grouping the uh, real part together, so it is x plus 1 plus, let me write y i plus 1 i is less than or equal to 2. Therefore, modulus of x plus 1, and if you factor out the i, you got y plus 1 times i is less than or equal to 2. Okay, so here, 
modulus of z though mo though z is x plus y i modulus of z is x squared plus y squared so modulus of this would be uh, square root of if i can say square root of x plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared 1 squared is less than or equal to 4 using the same principle so this is you can say this part this is your horizontal part and this is your vertical part okay this i is only telling you this is in the imaginary arm the magnitude is only the magnitude is y plus 1 r is only telling you that it is on the imaginary axis so now if you square both sides sorry i should have written 2 here this is 2 now if square if you square both sides so let me write squaring both sides squaring both sides i can say x plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to, is less than equal to it is less than equal to 4 now this is nothing but the equation of a circle so here you have got two parts you can divide this into two parts you can say this is x plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 4 and x plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared is less than 4. Now you should know this, this is a circle, this is nothing but a circle with center, center negative 1, negative 1 and radius of 2. Okay now less than 4 means it's a circle, it is all the, this means this is all the points on the circle okay so, so let me write that this means all the points on the circle all the points on the circle on which circle this circle and this means all the points inside the circle all the points inside because it's less than four inside the circle so now we need to sketch the graph so let us draw oh yeah here is my graph it's already there so you got this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis or you can say this is your imaginary arc you can say this is your this is your real arm and this is your imaginary arm so this is say this is your center this is your center which is negative 1 negative 1 and so this is the circle this is the circle of x plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 4 so the locus is all the points on the circle and all the points inside the circle so, if you want to draw this locus, it is, you have to draw, sketch all the points inside the circle and also on the circle. So, this is the locus, or this is how you can sketch all the points inside with it. So, you can say these are points which are, which is at a distance of this point. This is, I'll show you only one point. So, this is negative 1. This is negative 1, this is also negative 1. So this is negative 1, comma 1. This point is, this point is 1, comma, negative 1. Okay, let me do all the points. So this is, this is negative 1. And if you go 2, this is negative 3. And this point, from negative 1, you have to go 2 to the left. So that is negative 3. Uh, negative 3 negative 1 okay hopefully uh, this video has been helpful see you in the next